This is a HP ProBook 470G5. The keyboard had a liquid spill, so we're going to replace the keyboard. The one on the laptop has a LED backlit on the keyboard, but this one does not, so we're going to replace it without the LED backlit. Remove one screw holding the back plate, which hides the three screws which you need to remove. Use a prying tool to remove it safely without any scratches. You will see three screw positions with a keyboard symbol. So you need to remove those three screws. So that's one, two, and the three. Now turn the laptop over and use a prying tool, something long, and stick it through one of the holes to push the keyboard out. and start to gently lift up the keyboard. Be careful the ribbon cable is still connected. You can see the liquid spill which was sticking and holding the keyboard back so I have to apply a lot of force to pull it out. And gently push the, one of the clips up to remove the ribbon cable. Yeah, look at all that sticky stuff. It was holding the keyboard in place. So some of the keys were actually not working. And now we're gonna replace it with the new keyboard. So reverse the process. The ribbon, ca the ribbon cable has to be bent in a certain direction and put it in the right way. And you will see a little word up and that gives you an indication that the ribbon cable must face up. Otherwise it won't make any connections. And before putting it all in properly really tight, you just turn the computer on, do a full test of all the keys and then push the keyboard in its place and then you may do the screws at the back.
Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.